This is the story of Shubhajit Ghosh, a 35-year-old man. I know him for the last 11 years. Every change of season gives him a very excruciating headache. Every alternative day, he would be down with severe pain in his head. Sometimes he used to say that he must have developed a very serious problem or a brain tumor which is going to cost him his life and he might be dying very early. He decided to have a past life session with me for this issue as continuous medicines, CT scans and protection against weather, nothing was preventing the pain. Rather, the pain was increasing with age. We chose a day when he was already having the pain. Through progressive relaxation and organ dissection, he went into a very vivid past life journey. He saw himself in a ship as he went into his past life. He was a white man belonging to an European country. He was wearing boots, formal trousers and a violet shirt. The year was 1969. There were many people working on that army ship. Some wore khaki uniforms and some wore formal dresses like him. People called him Mac. And he felt like he was aged nearing 40. He saw a pinkish newspaper on the nearby table which was by the name Times with some other words which he couldn't read. Financial Times is a newspaper which used to be printed on a pink paper since 1893. Mac was a wealthy businessman who worked for the Navy ships helping them build ships and sometimes engineering works related to that. He saw himself making blueprints of plans and discuss it with the army men. He was a very respectable man who was admired by all. He worked with utmost involvement and passion. Mac saw himself having breakfast with a glass of wine and baked fish on the sh ship. Mac lived in a huge ancestral castle. He had an old mother, his siblings, some children and house staffs at his home. He was too much dedicated to his business and work and never got the time to get married. One day at a party he met a woman named Sharon. He fell in love and the relationship started just budding and everything was going so well. One day he was upset with an employee. Suddenly he felt an excruciating pain in his head. He saw a doctor and the doctor suspected that he had a tumor in his head. Day by day his health deteriorated and he became very sad as he could feel that he was dying. The pain of being untimely ripped off from life became much greater to him than the physical pain caused by the disease. 
He wanted to live more and get married to the woman he loved. But love came too late in that life. And life didn't grant him the time to fulfill his desires, to have a family and grow old with his love. He died with a heavy heart soon after. He saw his family members around his bedside and his In the life between life state he met Jesus Christ as his master Jesus welcomed him with a smile full of love Jesus touched his head and healed him of the physical pain and his mental agony of dying an untimely death He saw many children in the astral realm who died untimely. He saw that all of them were happy and smiling. Gradually his mind became free from the remorse of dying early and he started smiling. Jesus said he loves him. Max saw angels and mother mary and pieta which is the dead jesus in the lap of mother mary and many celestial beings in this life he is a hindu and a worshipper of shiva but he saw jesus and also he saw jesus and shiva are merging into each other and he felt like they are actually one energy he described the place so vividly and said that the place is all white he took the gift of health from jesus and felt that jesus will take care of the rest after coming back to consciousness the first thing he said that the low light in the room is hurting his eyes while the bright white light in the astral realm was so soothing he woke up with a hearty smile and kept smiling with so much of positive energy just after the session his headache was also gone he recognized the feeling he had with sharon was very similar with the feeling he is having with his current lifetime wife although the physical appearance has changed a soul always recognizes a soul he got married considerably early in this life as he didn't want to lose his love again He feared that he may die early whenever he had a headache as he had an untimely death due to the tumor in his head and he always gets fascinated with the old european stu- structures in this life and he feels he has a connection with them he always felt he has a connection with ship and ship making although he never had an opportunity to do this in this life he is born in a hindu bengali family but surprisingly he has kept an image of paita as his google account display picture for more than last 10 years this was an amazing case and after his session till date he never had this severe headache whereas the seasons have changed from monsoon to summer to sultry weather and now to winter now we can hear him giving a little bit of his feedback with a little hint of humor from his side hello 
this is shubhajit ghosh and my issue is my headache uh, um, i used to have a headache for last 20 years or so uh, though it was an occasional one but it used to get uh, acute during the season change and um, my, one day my wife advised me as she always does she advised me to take a past life regression session from her in that PLR session I came to know that in one of my past lives I died because of a brain tumor possibly this was the answer uh, of my chronic headache in this life um, and it's been more than three months from that uh, session and uh, the headache never came back and I hope it won't <laughs> and um, the PLR session was really wonderful and um, the magical part was uh, uh, the um, when I saw my spirit guide it was uh, Jesus Christ uh, it was like a dream uh, I just felt his love all over my existence and beyond and that simplified a lot of things in my life um, and it was it was a magical moment and it is something there in me with me and what can I say now? Uh, um, I am thankful to my wife Rajoshree for uh, such a beautiful experience and wonderful experience. Uh, as I am thankful to her for marrying such a beautiful and uh, the best person in this world, uh, Joseph Art. Uh, a big thank and regard to Trupti Ma'am for pioneering such, such a wonderful journey uh, and uh, for all of you uh, big thank you big thank and regard and respect to all thank you